hello guys welcome back to app sheet tutorial so in this video we're going to see about uh, how to upload multiple documents in app sheet so basically an uh, app sheet you can upload only one file at a single column but if you want to add multiple files uh, you have to use parent child relationship that we are going to see in this video first we'll uh, create a sample app for uploading a file then how we'll show you how to upload multiple files for a single row. okay so we'll create a new table so if you are new to this channel just check out the app sheet expressions playlist so here we covered all the important expressions and hit the subscribe button okay so now we'll create a new sheet for let's say profile so we have already a profile sheet is there so we can use the same sheet so we have already profile it is okay. so we're going to use the same sheet so here we'll add for another column called documents okay. so this will be the file column and uh, in the profile we will generate the structure since we have added a new column going to regenerate so we we'll just hide at the views yes. I'm going to hide this other views since it's confusing. So ref means it will hide. You can use for any other purpose using the action or using the formulas expressions. So we are going to to the profile view add a new view for profile So here, my profile view is there. Now we delete this. Okay. Now when I'm going to add, so the document should be in the file type. So this is the file type, and I'm submit. Now, if you see here the email ID, name, contact number, and for document, if I click here, I can able to only upload one document and a single time. So there is a limitation of this. So if you want to, so when I upload one document, and next time you can't upload the multiple documents in the same. So you have to delete and add a new, or you have to add a new columns, but if, uh, if you are unaware of uh, how many files you need to upload for this version uh, so you can't able to add multiple columns right? so what we are going to do is we are going to create a parent-child relationship so what does it mean so profile so this is the parent so this parent have multiple childs 
so in general parents have child right so like that so maybe this i'm going to create the files so this is a child and here it is a unique id unique id and uh, profile id so that file profile id and file okay so maybe we can say so unique id is generally uh, using the unique function we are going to generate this profile id what does it mean is so to which profile so actually we have to give another one uh, this one should be unique id so this which profile is pointing to this profile id and document what are the documents you are going to add for that profile so here you can have multiple documents for the same profile id which means for the same parent Okay, so this is the parent and this is the child so this profile parent can have multiple uh, document which means the files child so i am going to delete this column and we are going to add uh, documents in this child table okay now we will regenerate this since i deleted the column and add a new unique id i'm going to regenerate Okay. Since why why showing related plus one, we are already using the customers table here for refer for referring this profile. So that's why it's showing. So let's leave that. So now we need to add another table. Or that file this means child so sheet expressions for the files which is the child table I'm going to add now this file is the parent and child is the files okay so this files needs to this profile id should refer the parent table or profile okay i'm going to find this and press done and this document should be the file type and this unique ID we will remove the show we don't need to show this unique ID and same here we will show so this should be unique show this and uh, now once we save the related files will come here okay. same name okay. now if you see the related files came here which is referring to the files table means we have referred that parent so this is child or this parent profile and this is uh, we are referring the parent profile okay. now when we 
open the profile manager. Okay. okay, so I made one mistake. So actually, the related files we need to show here. So for that, you're referring with the parent. When you're referring the parent, you need to check this is part of. So what does it mean? Is this row will be considered part of the reference table? They can be address line items in the form view. So this is the form view. But we can't be able to add the multiple files since we forgot to check this. So this is the important one. So once we check this, we can add. It will be shown up in the form to add multiple files. Okay. <coughs> now. Okay, let's see if you add a profile now see file entry is the reference is entry in the file so we can change this in the menu so instead of this what the related files what we can see is add files in the text So I have changed that column name. So now it's the add files. When you press new, you will get you can you are going to add a file. This is the first file. And again, if you want, you can add a, another file. Something. So like this, so two files we have it. So like this, we can add multiple files. And I'm going to show this. Oops. So profile new. Okay. So why the files got disappeared the key should be the unique ID since the key is for email ID when I type the email ID it's not disappeared so first I will change this unique key now we will add so we are going to add 3 files on this parent So I added three files, now once I save, you will see, so profile get added is a parent and the child has three files if we can get. Okay, since it still is syncing, it's uploading the files. So if you see here, this is a profile ID, 4C74535, which means this ID. OC some four five three five. So this ID has three files. OC some four OC some four. Okay. So by this we are referring from this profile three files. Uh, you can add many more files also. Now we we'll check here. You can go and see the files. Okay. So this is a one. This is a concept of parent child and this is a use case of adding multiple files. So if you have any doubt, just leave a comment and thanks for watching. Bye bye.